Hello, and welcome to your UMSO Optometry virtual tour. My name is Joel, and today I am joined by Casey and Claire. Together, we are going to give you an inside look of our school. We begin on the ground floor of Merillac Hall, where we will see several areas, including the classrooms, focal point, and study locations. We have three main classrooms for our program. Each room is reserved for each class year. In classroom A, B, and C, you will find first, second, and third year students. Each classroom is designed to ensure you have a clear view of any presentations and your instructor. The hallway also offers space to study, relax, or enjoy your lunch. The focal point is our student lounge where you can heat up your food, eat, relax, study, socialize, and enjoy your break in between classes. Optometry students are given IDs that allow secure access to Merillac Hall. This includes the preclinic, your lab rooms, and each floor of the optometry wing, which we'll see shortly. Okay, our next stop will be the second floor, where we spend a lot of our time practicing. Hello and welcome to the second floor of Merillac Hall. This is our preclinic area. On this floor, we're going to be doing a lot of our practicing for the skills necessary to be an optometrist. Uh, of course, we have exam lanes that are going to be set up similar to what you'd see in an optometrist's office with your slit lamps, keratometers, four operas, and the visual acuity charts, um, so it's a great place to practice all of that. As students, we have 24-7 access to this area, so we can practice anytime you want. And recently, in 2018, we expanded our lanes out to 26 of them, so that as students, we have more space to practice with. We also have some study rooms on this floor that we'll talk about here in a little bit. Um, which is another place to be studying for your didactic lectures um, outside of working with your clinical skills. This is one of our many study rooms that we have on the second floor. We have smaller study rooms if you prefer to work alone, but we also have larger study rooms if you'd like to collaborate with classmates. We have 24-hour access to these study rooms. We also have a few study rooms on the third floor where our administrative offices are located. Let's head up to the third floor now. Here on the third floor, you will find the Dean's Office and Student Services. In addition, you will find two locker rooms. The new lockers were installed in 2019 to allow students to securely lock up their equipment so they don't have to take it home every night. In 2019, several new study spaces were added based on the request from students. Additional smaller study rooms are in development. Our next stop is the fourth floor. The fourth floor of Merillac is where you will find all the faculty offices. If you ever need to meet with your instructors, this is where you will meet them. This floor also has several study rooms, which provide students with ample study space to work quietly and prepare for lectures. Now we're off to see the Neuro and APD labs. Before we get to the APD and Neuro labs, we have the Technology Learning Center, or the TLC. In this space, you will find computers that you can use to print out any notes or lecture PowerPoints before your class. This is our APD in Neuroanatomy Lab. We have 24 access hours to these labs so that we can practice after hours. Just down the hall is our optics lab that was created in 2019. In this lab, we have lots of models to be able to practice on, and these models are great because they're helping us to reinforce the things that we're learning in lecture, as well as some microscopes we'll be looking at uh, histological slides. And then also we have some TVs along this back wall here, uh, which are really nice when we're doing slides because the teacher's able to look at them on her microscope and then we're able to view them from wherever we're sitting inside of the lab. And we are now inside the Patient Care Center. This building was constructed in 2016, and it houses 30 exam lanes that we're able to use, along with a full-scale dispensary, testing rooms, state-of-the-art equipment. Let's take a look around. front desk where patients can check in and be greeted by our friendly patient care representatives. Here we have our dispensary. We have a variety of name brand glasses as well as a variety of sizes ranging from kids to adults. This dispensary doubled in size when we moved to this building in 2016. We are now in the clinic. It's divided up into three lanes. We are right now in the cornea and contact lens lane. Next door we have the family lane and finally we have the pediatric lane down at the end. We are now in our special testing room. Uh, in here we have a lot of devices that are very state-of-the-art. 
Dean Davis believes it is important for us as students to be learning on the newest equipment. Um, so he always makes sure he sets aside some money in the budget to buy us the newest equipment um, so that us as students were able to practice on these devices, learn how to use them, um, use them for clinical diagnosing, which is great. Uh, especially when you start looking for jobs following graduation, you're able to put these on resumes and then your future employers can look at that and be like, oh, you know how to use this device? Well, we're looking at purchasing one of those so we can bring you on board. You already know how to use it and we can start using that to help further our practice. Um, so UMSL is a great place to be learning all these new devices. And here we are in the patient consult room. This is where you'll be meeting with your professors as well as other students. You'll be speaking about the different patients that you have as well as doing all of your charting here. We are now in the pediatric special testing room. As you can see with all this equipment behind me, um, there are tools that we're able to use to help do a little more specialized testing with children, see how well their eyes are seeing. Um, behind us, kind of a neat thing about this room is we have a one-way mirror right here. Through that mirror, the parents are able to sit in the other room and watch, the, uh, watch their children performing these tests. And then it also doesn't give the children anxiety as they're performing those tests so that they're able to show the doctors what they really can and can't see. Um, so if you're looking to go into pediatrics, UMSL is a great place to go for that. Wait, we aren't done yet. Our mobile eye unit received a full facelift in April of 2020 and is ready to go back out into the community. This unit has three full exam lanes and our third year students head out on this unit five days a week. In addition to our patient care center on campus, we are proud to be in the community through two other clinics we own and operate. The first one is in Midtown St. Louis next to St. Louis University, which is our Lindell Eye Center. Our other clinic is located in East St. Louis on the SIUE satellite campus. All students will see patients at these clinics as well as several community clinics in the St. Louis area. If you like to be active, you have access to the Campus Recreation Center. Our Student Recreation Center is located on North Campus and is open to all students at the College of Optometry. Students can use weight systems, indoor track and pool, zip line, rock climbing wall, Students can also sign up for classes, personal training, and intramural sports through the Student Recreational Center. The Two Hill is where optometry commencement is held each year. This is our Performing Arts Center located on campus. Shows, concerts, and other events are held in this facility. Most events are discounted for students to attend. The Millennium Student Center is the hub of student support services, including counseling and health services, tech support, cashier's office, bookstore, food services, and more. Our campus police are available 24-7 and are focused on building relationships with those on campus while ensuring our campus is always safe. You will find officers walking the buildings throughout their shifts to make sure they are highly visible. Well, Casey and Claire, I think we covered it all. Yeah, I think so too. And just remember, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Student Services. They are awesome and will help you out. Mm -hmm.